Hello, Sea Hero. Hello, Grendel. How are you both doing today? Hopefully everything is going well. <laughs> hey, Nixie, how's everything going? Hello, hello. Alright, we've got this set up. Should be good. <laughs> how's everyone doing? All three of you uh, beat the YouTube stream elements today. <laughs> nice. You doing good? I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. Ay ay ay. I heard so much using tackle on colors. <laughs> uh, Grendel, you and playing with my unintentional puns, I swear. <laughs> been doing a lot of attacks for art fight. Oh, really? Nice. I I've been wanting. Ugh. I wanted to do art fight for the longest time, but I've never like had time when it was around <laughs> maybe someday maybe someday i'll i'll do art fight one day <laughs> hello heavy how are you doing today trying to do one attack each day dang nixie yeah i i hope to do it someday is it fun so far i hope you're enjoying it have you gotten any attacks back yet Aye, aye, aye. How was my, uh, fourth? Uh, we don't really celebrate it much where I'm at, actually. It's, uh, it's... Yeah, it, it's really weird. Um... <laughs> the village outside the forest really doesn't celebrate it at all. Uh, they kind of have their own celebration later in the summer. It's weird. It's strange, honestly. <laughs> You're doing fabulous, plentiful, and getting ready to make a cheeseburger. Interesting. Alright then. <laughs> Not yet, but the month is young, so I have hope. I have hope too. I have hope too. I don't really know, like, how much it usually works with that, because I, I haven't done it. Uh, so I, I don't know what the ratio is, but I'm hoping that you either get uh, attacker friendly fire. Hello, K-pop. How's everything going? About to walk the doggies, we'll be back after. Alright, sounds good, Grendel. You've done four attacks. Oh, you really have been doing it every day. Wow. I still have yet to do friendly fire. <laughs> yeah, something tells me that that's just not in, in your uh in your brand to do any friendly fire. <laughs> uh, but hopefully it's been fun at least. I'm bored and it's raining, I'm sorry. That's frustrating. We've actually, we've had, um, there's been some rain over here, like, on and off. A little too much rain for my taste. I feel bad attacking teammates even though it's a good thing. <laughs> it's been really fun, and I have five characters bookmarked. Nice. Yeah, someday I, like, Mm. This year is not good because I have way too much on the plate, but maybe next year I might try doing like speed paint uh, works. That could be fun. <laughs> I've heard about it for so many years and I just, uh, I just have FOMO each year. <laughs> I'm on team Bloom. What are the, uh, the teams are Bloom and Wither if I recall, right? I think that's what they are. I don't quite remember. But I'm glad to hear that you're having fun with it. Well, that... <laughs> Again, seems seems a little uh, opposite to your branding, but sounds fun anyway. Alright, so if you guys uh, didn't see the stream notice or the, the title... Today we finally get to start tackling color, and I'm really excited, because that's when things are going to, like, really start coming together, and you're going to get a better idea of how this whole thing is going to look. Actually, no, I, uh, we're good. So, I did a little bit of editing on the sketch, just fixing some of the chair perspective, because, uh, you guys saw how I was struggling a bit with the chairs last time. <laughs> Getting those architectural lines down. But, um... Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be able to do uh, some idea of what the color should be. It's going to be very rough. We're we're doing color rough 
uh, today. And we'll still be able to sort of change things around as we need to, but I'm trying a new technique that's more of like a painting, where it's the sketch and then the color and then the line art slash cleanup. So it's kind of like how you would uh, approach a traditional painting, just getting your ideas down and then refining later. I think it's gonna work. It was my birthday on the third, if you didn't know. Well, happy birth, uh, happy belated birthday, Talon. <laughs> Was it a good birthday? I hope so. I thought it was new, but it's been around since 2009. Yeah, it's been around for a long, 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 long time. I've just, uh... I've never been able to give myself time to do it. Uh, maybe, maybe someday. It was? I'm glad to hear that. Did you do anything fun? Oh, you doke. Let's get over here to our main main scene here so you guys are probably familiar with seeing the sketch at this point i did some slight variations here on the chair made it uh, a little shorter so that it wasn't so close to the edge because before it was like i was almost breaking my own tangent rule <laughs> and it was giving me anxiety so we fixed a little bit of that we fixed a bit of the uh table made the table a little bit longer Added some more items here. And... Da, 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 da. I think that's the, the main thing. And uh, refine the cooler a little. <laughs> you can close commissions mid-June next year. Finish them all by the end. Then do Art Fight in July. Uh, <laughs> I probably... I don't see a situation where I will be able to close commissions uh, in order to do Art Fight, unfortunately. As, as much as I would like to do Art Fight, um, <laughs> commissions pay the bills. Uh, but, but what I would maybe do is, uh, kind of like how you might do an Inktober type thing. And just do, uh, shorter, quicker pieces and then just make it a challenge to do, uh, do a few. If I do, if I can learn to get a little faster with the speed paint style, kind of like how I do those, uh, five minute pieces someday. If I, if I could give myself, like, maybe... 20 minute pieces so that they were decently done that could work i don't know we'll see <laughs> should sounds bossy <laughs> no worries so we have a separate folder right here for all of the color so we've got all of our uh layers here except this one's just i don't know yet every uh every vtuber in here has a separate layer and we're gonna start off with the background layer we're gonna kind of uh, do it like if you were putting papers on top of each other. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to get a... Probably the ocean color is going to help us the most. And I also have this on a... Uh, duplicated on another screen so that I can actually see the colors correctly because, um... My spellbook sometimes does not display things <laughs> the best. It's getting a little- it's getting a little musty, it's getting a little dusty. It needs a cleaning, I think. I mean, look, you can see the edges are, like, old and brown. It needs a refresh. So, let's see here. I'm just overthinking color. Let's get something very vibrant to start things off. Get the entire canvas away. How did I- Awesome. Let's fix that one real quick. If I remember correctly, I can turn this into... Convert brightness to opacity. Yes, that's fine. Oh, I remember why. I was trying to cover up what these were without directly erasing things. But now I think I can erase things, because now I have a backup. I'm clean your spellbook off for you. Hehe. <laughs> Mixie, why does it sound so strange? What's with the he? <laughs> what what's with the weird little gremlin laugh there at the end? What does that mean? Is this my undersketch? Yes it is. Alright. We can probably get rid of that. Except. Yep, that should be good. I'm gonna worry about it, Nixie? Nixie, what are you 
planning slash doing slash thinking. I'm nervous now. <laughs> Stay away from my spell books. Clearly I'm not supposed to trust you with them. I don't think. Mixie, you, you think in mischievous ways, but that's the problem. Alright, let's try basing out uh, our sky here. A little bit of a darker tan uh, color that goes across the whole thing. And... It's kind of hard when everything is blue to get an idea of what's going on. So... Let's quickly get in some more turquoise for the water here. And again, we're just sort of basing everything out with the general idea of what it's going to be. And then refining as we go. So I might use like a bit of a sharper eraser for this point. Uh, sh eraser. <laughs> you know what I mean. And if things aren't vibrant enough, then I will keep pushing it. I like to think I'm a threat to society. Oh, sorry. I think Heavy's got you there. I think that was already, uh, I think that was already determined. <laughs> Heavy agrees. So are you both, are, do you both identify as threats then? Is that the story? We have two threatening presences at the same time. Present, presence, pre what is, <laughs> what is the plural of presence? <laughs> Identify as threat, my pronouns are try, me, and Nixie is just a menace. <laughs> so you guys work well together, got it. Heavy coward in the corner because I was eating a human in chat. Uh, okay. Gifts? No, no, no. Uh, like, like somebody's presence. Like, not, not like gift presence. Like, uh, int an intimidating presence. These definitely need to be much more vibrant. Come on, let's push it. Let's- No, not that much! Uh. Alright, maybe that much, but change the border there. Mm -hmm. Definitely gonna be going back and forth on this a bit until I get the right color. Because it's not feeling how I want it yet. And I'll probably be surprised how much of this is actually supposed to be fairly pastel looking. But oceans should look very deep, vibrant blue in most cases. The song and scene gives Stardew Valley vibes. <laughs> the scene too, really? I haven't played Stardew, so I, I wouldn't know what to expect there. Let's fix up the edge there, so that's not a vibrant neon yellow, because that doesn't make any sense. Like fan art. <laughs> I'm scary, Nixie is just disturbed. <laughs> oh jeez. Where did I have the edge here? I'm gonna have to figure out where that was. I think it was like, kinda halfway, if I remember. 
And then we need a little bit of the sea foam on the edges. It's gonna be pretty much pure white almost. So. And the more I think about it, the more I'm like, wow, Gura's in really shallow water. Can sharks be in shallow water? I, I suppose they could, right? From the sand and sea color? I'm, I'm trying. We're trying to get there. <laughs> As a Florida native, I can confirm the East Coast beaches look like that. <laughs> Hello, hello, Jerry. How are you doing today? They get- no, no. Like, Gura's, uh, plenty- plenty thriving here, I think. I hate the beach, but I love fake scenarios and pictures of beach scenes. Oh, Nixie! So much agree there. So much agree. Same here. I- I really, really hate the beach myself, but I really love fun, vibrant beach scenes. <laughs> There's there's so much color to play with, you know? I completely I completely agree there. 100%. 110%. I really love painting beach scenes. I don't like the actuality of it. Also, Jerry, these aren't the lines. This is still sketch work. Sharks can be in shallow water as they can swim in here on Florida West Coast. Uh, sharks, especially small baby sharks, come in as shallow 18 inches of water? Seriously? 18 inches. Gura is small, they're fine in shallow water. She'd need a floaty to swim in the deep water. <laughs> she probably wouldn't need a floaty. I'm, I'm pretty sure she's a great swimmer being like, you know, Princess of Atlantis. Probably doesn't need any uh, assistance in that. I'm gonna get way more detailed and refined later, uh, especially with like how I'm doing the water. This is just, again, just trying to get the idea down and the color down, make sure it's all like the way that we're hoping it'll look. This is why I like doing it in this fashion, is because we can just keep changing things and improving them before we really commit to anything. <laughs> I feel like that's a little, a little too accurate for how I approach a lot of things in life, but hey, it's fine. There's some species of sharks that can live in shallow water, but the large ones would die if they go in the shallow. Oh, okay. Well, Gura is a small shark, so that should be fine, I suppose. Let's get a little bit of the sea foam looking effect here. I feel like this looks... I feel like this has two different vibrancies now on two different screens. I'm very confused. <laughs> Gura needs a floaty? I really don't think the Shark of Atlantis needs a floaty. I really think that she would be fine on her own. I mean, maybe she would have it as like, I don't know, an accessory, but I don't think she would need one, if that makes sense. I can see her wearing one just for fun. But I don't think she, like, actually needs one. I'm gonna try to push the vibrancy here as well. And I think I made the sky a little too purple. There we go, that feels better. Okay, now it actually feels like daytime. There we go. It's amazing what one color change can do. I 
And then... Ba -ba -ba -bum. I know that there's gonna be little... Little variants here in the sand. Little color variant. It's gonna have shade. And then there's gonna be little... Seashells. Of various color. Maybe not as neon there. Make them a little mixed, maybe? A little bit of variation going here and there. Ready for fun? What about beach stuff? It's fun. <laughs> hello, hello, dolphin. How are you doing today? Hopefully, all is going well. Juvenile sand sharks and bonnet head sharks can be found in the shallows, but yes, larger sharks need more water and larger prey. Interesting. You guys seem to know a lot about sharks. How do you guys know so much about sharks? Uh, okay, okay. Let's throw in color for our main character here. I'm going to go with, um, I'm just blocking in with a darker color so I can see what I'm doing. This is not, like, what it's going to be. But this just helps separate it from everything else. And I'm just going to color it with the chair for now, and I can separate it later if need be. But this just gets our general idea across. And I'll make sure that uh, skin color and such is accurate. Right now, I am just blocking in and using kind of semi-generic colors for the time being. This just helps me make sure everything is more or less where it needs to be. Have I ever had red, green, uh, and pen? Uh, I, I don't think so. I've had, uh, any pen. Uh, is that like a bean paste bread? I've had different bean paste pastries. I'm not sure if I've had that exactly, though. I know shark fact, they're terrifying. Whales are also terrifying. Any big or unknown water-dwelling creature is terrifying. So is dark water. Also terrifying. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. It's more like- it, it's- it's a big fear of the unknown type thing, right? Like, you just don't know what is in there. I think about that sometimes. Like, what is it? You guys haven't- like, humans haven't dis uh, explored, like, the vast majority of the ocean. Like, you guys still don't know what's there. And it, it, it might as well just be space. Might as well just be water space. You have no idea what's in there. Oops, I buy it. <laughs> Oh, uh, why does everyone keep pointing that out? It's just like, it's very generic, right? Like, how how else would you draw a male character? That's just a generic idea. I have to do something. I, I can't just leave it with nothing there. That would be even more insulting. Scare of the unknown and big creatures that aren't that aren't phantasmal. <laughs> that aren't phantasmal. I don't know why I'm terrified of whales, but dragons are perfectly fine. <laughs> well, I think Thornscale would appreciate that at least. 
Okay. We've got that broken up. Let's quickly throw in a chair breakup, blockout thing. Being super rough with this, it's not even funny. I'm going to get to a point uh, in the stream for this project where I do take things slower and I do spend more time thinking about my decisions and such. But a lot of the first beginning streams, I've just been trying to do things uh, a little quicker, just getting the ideas down. And then as I progress on this, I will uh, slow down the pace as we get to things that are more detail-oriented. I thought I already erased that part of the hand, didn't I? these things these are uh these are usually white and red right we got sort of like a, a painted white color and then we've got like a bit of oh pfft. it would help if i did things on the right layer come on so we've got kind of our natural white color, and then the blue white is for something that looks more like it's painted, in this case the beach chair. So we've got two variants of white here. So one is like a, I think like a, a plastic, if I remember correctly. And then we've got paint. I'm not sure where the ring is there exactly. Which, which is why we have submarines. Yeah, that's true. The pressure gets higher the deeper you go. Yeah, I don't think most of you guys would be cut out to, to try exploring the ocean. Not really offended by that. I just find bodies toned with muscle are healing. That's why I made the moderate very muscular. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, it's just like I'm, I'm trying to not be uh cringy or or offensive or anything but it's it's hard to just find like some medium where there you, you have to do some variant when you're painting a character I'm doing my best <laughs> doing my best with the situation oh my eyes are bugging out a bit at the different whites now Someone said they need a cringe. No, we don't need cringe. We need the opposite of cringe. We need the... No, 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 no. We do not need any more cringe. We have plenty. We have plenty of cringe to go around and spare. We are very... Uh, we, we have our uh, a fair supply. Thank you. Ah, uh, bum, bum, bum. Let me see if I can at least try color picking from your ref so I can try to get this accurate. <laughs> oh, we don't. <laughs> F. Nine. Blah. Hello, hello, churros. How are you doing today? Hopefully all is going well. Nixie, thank you for greeting churros. I would have uh, accidentally mixed their uh, icon with Talon for a, a quick second. How are you doing, churros? Hopefully all is going well. No, no, no. Heavy, we are good. We've got plenty. We've got plenty. I'm sure that there is enough to go around without more influence. No CF? Is that correct? I think that's right. Ok. 
color picking directly from reference sheets here. What is the opposite of cringe? I think the opposite of cringe is impressive. That would be a good question. I don't know what that would... I suppose? I don't know. What do you what do you guys think? What would be the opposite of cringe? Would it be impressive or would it be something else? I don't really know, actually. Opposite of cringe is based. Oh, right. That's like a that's like the standard idea, right? Yeah, I think you might be right about that. Uh, okay. Pants are what? Oh, there's so much white in this area. We've got the white chair, the shorts, and then the floaties. I'm gonna have to use a lot of shadow to make things stand out more. And I'm actually not sure where the lines are here, but let's just approximate one and fix it later. Consider based. I'm glad to hear that, I suppose. Thank you. Based art VTubing. If you want a cringe lord, then hit you up. Okay, there you go. That's our that's our split right there. We we're like actual complete opposites in every way I can think of. Remember the exact shade of red here, but should be around that. No, wait. Did you see the blue? Shoot. I'm trying to figure out. Uh, I know this is. I'm not sure if there would be any blue visible here, based on the character ref char character reference. Maybe right there. Um. Hmm. I'm not entirely. Sure will that be. I have to check on that later. My sister keeps crying over Stranger Things and it's confusing. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Hello, Catadoodles. How are you doing today? Is that Rayless chilling too? Yeah. I actually, uh, I actually used him for the thumbnail today. I was kind of going around the piece and picking out different people for each thumbnail. And, um... I decided to do a close-up for Rayless because I had previously been doing everything over here. And next thumbnail, I will pro now that we have some color going on, I'll probably have the the main character on the thumbnail. <laughs> You're doing good, I'm glad to hear that. Hello Otsu, how are you doing today? I hope everything is going well. Uh, I'm gonna have to check and make sure I did those uh, swim shorts right later. And then I think this is gonna be uh, a bit of like gold. I'm gonna go do some art. All right, Nixie, have a fantastic lurk. All the best with art fight. Flesh color hair is always disturbs me when I see graphic design. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's get something down there so we can uh, stop disturbing heavy. There we go. Is that better? 
Hopefully that eases your anxieties a little. sleepy so I'll go uh go to bed almost all right so I know it's really really late over there but I really appreciate you coming in just to say hello it, it really means a lot thank you first week trying to stream three days instead of two. Oh, Nixie let me know how that goes I I did the opposite I used to stream three days and I now stream two You're fine? Alright. Okay. Cool blue 10 out of 10 anime protagonist hair. <laughs> you hear that, Sihiro? 10 out of 10 anime protagonist hair. Jerry, I don't know what you said, but the bot didn't like it. Need to go at the Japanese shopping center with friends? Glad I could stop by a little. <laughs> I appreciate it, Dolphin. All the best. Find good food. How's it going? It is it is going well. I um I'm working on the 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 rough color today. Trying to establish the overall idea of the piece. going well I'm I'm really I'm really excited for this piece honestly like I'm I'm really hoping I can do it justice I <laughs> uh, I'm I'm going to um, I'm going to assume that that's corrected I, I feel like I can understand why the uh, why the bot doesn't like it. I'll have to see if I can correct that. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> and many, many others. <laughs> Is it summer art? Yes, it's summer art. Uh, I'm I'm hoping to uh, I'm hoping to to get it done in a, in a decent amount of time so that it is still within the summer season. Changed, I changed the pose. Why? Oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, now I get why it, uh, why it did that. I don't even think I have that as a blocked word. That's strange. <laughs> hello, hello, Taki. How are you doing? So you working on background for TikTok? All right, sounds good, Talon. Makes these Audubon ban me for 10 minutes. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, alright, let's get- let's get flats for some other characters in here. I think that's most of what I have to do. I'm gonna tackle the shading as well. Um, but I just want to get the flats of everyone done here. 
So let's move over to these three crazies. <laughs> uh, let's tackle Gura first. We'll make her like a easy to see yellow for the time being. Just so I can tell where I'm painting. So you guys see what I'm doing. I'm just I'm I'm blocking out the color in something easy to see and then changing it all at once. Doing good. The colors look lovely. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. I find sand is difficult to illustrate. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to see what I'm going to do about that. I think just a little bit of differentiation in color will help. And um and uh, probably some texture work, but not too much because I, I want it to still feel very uh, anime style. And I think that if I texture it too much, it could lose that effect. I haven't followed Nixie yet. <laughs> I'm too spicy for everyone. Let's go to Spice Island. You are too spicy for everyone. Like, I can understand why you get along so well with Heavy. I also don't understand how I happen to know both of you. The cat is cute. Yeah, the the cat is uh is another um uh another uh English VTuber and they make uh videos telling um they they make videos summarizing the the stories of other VTubers. It's really well done. Like they um they they make videos summarizing uh Hollow Lives stories. Uh, and, and Niji Sanji and all of those things. They're a fun cat. <laughs> yeah, the beach colored looks so far. Thank you, Jerry. I appreciate that. Keep up the spice. Uh, call it magic? Call the beach magic? Maybe. <laughs> Forced together by the cosmos. Yeah, there you go. There's the magic. <laughs> Tell <-lol. laughs> That could be a uh, that could be a great like TikTok or or shorts branded joke that you could keep working with. <laughs> that could be funny. I'm not allowed to have beach magic? That's okay. I wouldn't do well with beach magic anyway. N Nixie and I would not fare well with beach magic. <laughs> Alright, so we've got our, our, um, basic color. I feel like I just painted shiny Gura. <laughs> this is the, this is shiny variant. Red Gura is not even shiny. This is, this is shiny. I use the glitter effect uh, in CSP to help do the sand texture. I found it works surprisingly well. Raising a brush might be useful for other things. Ooh, I'll definitely try that. Especially because sand, like, actually is glittery, right? It has, like, a bunch of tiny... Sand has tiny crystals in it. Sand is made of little rocks and crystals and quartz and things. Sorry, Heavy. <laughs> I guess it works. I guess it works a little too well still. <laughs> uh. Take me to the beach and I am bolting. <laughs> A horribly adorable lot. Yeah, that's a good way to say it. Uh, where's my reference of what all the clothes look like? There it is. Use the glitter brush for my freckles. Does that mean your freckles are glitter? 
Because that would be so fun. You have glitter freckles, Nixie. tail might be a little bit lighter than this, but you know. <laughs> May yes and no. You basically answered the complete opposite answer. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh... I guess I didn't think this one through. Alright, I'm gonna have to change the outfit a bit based on how much we're seeing. So let's actually make this... Let's actually make this whole thing white. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll have to revisit that. I don't want that to look awkward. One time I painted them rainbow, really? <laughs> so, Minasai? Oh, yes, Minasai? Okay, Utsu. <laughs> Wishing you all the best. Have a, have a wonderful night. Uh, thank you so much for stopping in. Arigato. Pixie dust freckles. <laughs> I can't seem to get the hang of my stream schedule. Um, I should probably advertise it better, I suppose. Uh, my stream schedule is Tuesdays and Saturdays at two o'clock Eastern. I think I have that in the description? I forget now. I should. I believe I do. But maybe I maybe I need to find a, a way to make it uh, to advertise it a little better. <laughs> this one time I was an ooh vampire character. <laughs> Heavy does Taka know that? <laughs> shark teeth on the end of the bow here. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to revisit how I do this. Because I, I have a, a two-piece swimsuit, but because of the angle that Gura is at, if I made just this piece here, unless I did like a really thin version, I don't know. I don't think it shows up enough, so I think I need to make this like a longer one piece or something. I want to see your schedule. I I need to like make a. I used to have a, a visual of the schedule, but I need to uh, make a new one, and like actually <laughs> make it look nice. Only Vesa knows. Well, now we all know. Now 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 we all know. You made that. Clear. <laughs> Show would teach kids about all the wrong things. Uh, true crime, but instead of solving them, I'm gonna. Jeez, Nixie. Also knows character name, backstory, tragic death, etc. 
That was about 12 years ago. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pry. Clearly there's a lot of, uh, story, story trauma with it. I'm not gonna pry on it. Okay, I feel like... Yeah, I think I might revisit this. Also, did I have her tail wrong? Was her tail more complicated? No, it's just gradient. Alright, now we've got Vesa. I actually try myself as Tio. Oh boy. Let's get that sand. The, the sand color uh, separates really well from the ocean color. That's why I keep grabbing uh, interesting orange hues. You can see it now. Heavy being an OP vampire, the masquerade character. Oh no, I could see it too. Oh jeez. I could I could picture Heavy like going like getting nostalgic and as a plague doctor dressing as a vampire and then Taka just comes in and goes, What are you doing? can absolutely see that happening. Love the sandy color. How do I pick good colors? Uh, as you can see, I'm I'm kind of not being super specific about it. Uh, I'm trying to go with something that looks fairly decent and vibrant. I had something that was like way too, um, way more dull, and I I kind of was just changing it uh, and pushing the saturation further and further. I'm being auto modded again. What? Nixie, what are you saying that is causing the mod to be angry? And I, I find it weird. The only thing that I've modded were words that were, like, actually very bad. So I'm not really sure why it's taking um, things that I'm guessing are just half of a sentence. Or, or half of a word, I mean. I'll have to check that on the Twitch side. That's strange. Nixie must have a potty mouth. Yeah, maybe. I mean, to be fair, I, I did, uh... I did set it fairly high just because of our past experiences. But it shouldn't be, like, crazy high. Alright, now we have to... Now we have to try to figure out the, uh... The somewhat purple skin tone. I think this is right? Shoot, I should have grabbed a reference for this earlier. <laughs> Nixie, look, it's our it's our favorite thing, trying to figure out the skin tone.
I'm gonna lurk also me doesn't shush in chat and shush was a different word. Oh, okay. I, I don't think that shut up is blocked, so I'm guessing you went a little more aggressive. I think she is very pale white. She has a very pale skin tone, but it also has more of a reddish purple tint. Her hair is uh, like a pure white though, with a little bit of shadow that should probably be a cooler color. Yeah, this works better for her shadow. Wasn't that aggressive again? <laughs> Leave her off white just to be ridiculous. <laughs> I just purposely give Vessel the wrong skin tone. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> Nixie, what the heck are you saying to make the bot so angry? Hello, Raylis. How are you doing today? Hopefully everything is going well. I approve of the thumbnail. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. I've been I've been kind of jumping around with things. So we're we're kind of going from like our main character to Gura to Vesa to Thorn, and then we'll probably be able to flat color you in as well. <laughs> How's it going? How's everything been? Heavy and Vesa are, are being chaotic, but other than that. <laughs> I mean, Heavy and Vesa. Uh, Heavy and Nixie. <laughs> Painting Vesa got thrown off. And what did I do for our outfit color? Okay. <laughs> I'm a good little whatever I am. Nah, it, it's it's really mainly Nixie. Uh, at least that's what the bot's telling me. <laughs> I'm not a, a chaotic. I'm just angry at your rigged bot system. <laughs> what about it is rigged? What what is what is rigged with it? That doesn't make sense. Let's make this a little darker so I can actually see the color difference. There's actually a gray stripe in between the black and the green and I want that to show up a little bit more I think it's attacking me because I'm Gen Z <laughs> that doesn't make sense I, I would imagine there's probably other people in Gen Z who have had no problem here that'd be my I mean I could very well be wrong but that's at least my guess Sound like Vesa reprogrammed it. Maybe, maybe Vesa reprogrammed it today just to spite you particularly. Maybe this is all intentional. <laughs> I mean, Vesa always chaotic, but it's more harmonious than when Heavy and I get chaotic. Yeah, that's true. I can't really, I don't, I don't see any harmony between you two. That's for sure. Pink is on the right side, right? Pinkish, purplish, magenta. I feel like I'm almost at the point where I could draw Vesa by memory if I had to. I mean, not not the crazy jacket, but I think I, I uh, like the hairstyle wise and everything, I, I think I pretty much memorized that.
Harmony Schmarmony. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, I think that's main part for Vessa. Now we can move on to Thorn. I'm just going for green because I know it's closer anyway, and it's separate enough from the, uh, f from the light turquoise. It's enough of a difference. So it works well. This feels so strange that, like, this is going to be, like, one of the last times we we see thorn before he grows wings <laughs> of a beach picture of all things but hey then then he can uh, join my join myself and Nixie on the wing gang One hundred and ten percent for Thorn Scale, yeah, for sure. <laughs> no, I'm super excited for him. I think he's doing some really, really cool things. Also, dragons are awesome. And as we already discussed, Nixie, like, we we're like afraid of a giant whale, but not a dragon. Oh, <laughs> also, hello. <laughs> I didn't see you there, Thorn. <laughs> Grendel, oh my god. <sighs> Gators? I don't think that applies here. Whales, krakens, and all sort are much bigger than dragons and will swallow you. I mean, I wouldn't say that they're all bigger. Maybe, maybe, maybe a kraken, just because, like, I don't know. There's no way to measure that. Nope. Nixie. Nixie. Let's get the tail here. I think when you guys were suggesting that I move the tail, that did help a lot, so thank you kindly for that suggestion. I summoned you by saying your name. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is why I really like to to paint VTubers. I know is because there's just so much fun, crazy banter when you can like have them join you and they can like see what you're doing. There's there's something fun and special about that. All right, your scales in this form are a lot less. Oh shoot, that actually matches in one screen, but not the, gosh darn it. I can't tell what matches and what doesn't anymore. <laughs>
I'm just gonna go with that for now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I hope, I hope you don't have too much of that, honestly. All right, let's just get some quick rough shading here, just because we know that that's gonna be a thing anyway. This isn't like, like my. Uh, actual shading, but I know that this is going to change the appearance a fair amount. Now it does look too yellow. It's gonna look less yellow when we add yellow, I think. Color relations! Color relations can be really confusing sometimes. If, if, some, if a piece looks yellow, and then we add yellow, then it's going to look less yellow. I don't know if that made any sense at all to any of you guys, but it's it's the whole thing about like comparison and contrasting. Just realized another Incubus YouTuber follows me. Nice. Just want 2D so I can use 2D assets. I mean, I, I've had some success using my own assets. Not not the most, but but some. Never made a proper reference, so the official coloration was just some sort of green. <laughs> uh, alright then. Well, I will I will make sure that it looks like a, a proper green regardless. And again, what I'm doing here is just really roughing uh, colors out, so I can keep adjusting as I go. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna- I'm gonna join you on the didn't have a reference, uh, train there. Uh, I- I can relate- I can relate a bit. You know, hope, hopefully we both fix that at some point. <laughs> because if I don't fix it, Jerry's gonna kill me. Yeah, it's just, it's really rough because I know it's supposed to have that, um, I know it's supposed to have shading kind of in that vein. It'll be a lot more refined later. Your goal is to make one this week? Oh, wow. Well, I hope you can get that I, That means I need to grind out the dragon skills. Yeah, I feel that. Oof, I need to do the same too, but I keep overthinking- like, I really, really love reference sheets so much. And because of that, I keep overthinking my own, and then it never gets done, etc., etc. I just realized I forgot a line for where your scales continue. Yeah, you, you, you ever get so invested in something that you never end up doing it because you're so paranoid about it being perfect? Because I do that more than I'd like to admit. <laughs> Nixie. Made my white hair personage with zero reference at first, then grab Star Trek. Yeah, that- yeah, that's fair. That's why I don't finish or save a lot of pieces. Oof. Uh, it's unfortunate that I can relate so much to that. I also- no, okay, I have the bands here, here. I forgot it on the arms. Alright. We'll make sure to have that. These are just gonna be retroactively lined art- li Lined? Line arted? Lined. These are gonna be retroactively lined like a lot of other things in the- in the piece.
In the reference document for the design of yours truly, I submitted a 15-page document full of references and descriptions. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. Grendel, artists enjoy that side of me. Yeah. That is always- yeah, the more reference, the better. Although, I'm kind of curious how you get to 15 pages. Huh. I'm, I'm kind of curious about that now, not gonna lie. I know this is also supposed to be a slightly different brown, but bear with me. And like I said for all of these, this is really just getting the idea down, and then, um... I can continue changing and refining things, and then as we move further along, we'll probably start slowing down the pace a little, just to move on to more detailed things. But right now, this is just speed running all the detail. <laughs> or, uh, speed running the colors, I should say. have things in there and you can't really see them because of how messy the sketch is. <laughs> no, another wrong tone of brown. <laughs> Look, I am particular about these things, okay? Still probably way too, uh, saturated on the green side. Let me just try to quickly do something about that. General ideas here. And then we can start blocking in Rayless. Alright, I think that's everything. I just wanna I wanna desaturate this a little bit. Just cause it it it's definitely supposed to yeah. Definitely supposed to be a little less saturated. That looks a little bit more accurate, right? I think so, anyway. Still thinking about what sort of unique elements I could add? Along the lines of all the details added to Thorn, yeah. <laughs> End up working, uh, said project like a young man, eager to start quick to finish. Pretty sure I got my... Cation doctor's voice figured out? The ironies might sound similar to the vein of Abigail and Tonkatsu. Oh boy. Oh boy. Like the blue-green contrast? Yeah, it, it, it shows up really well against the water, for sure. Alright, let's save this so we're not losing anything. Desaturate? Yeah, we need to desaturate things. If it, if things are too saturated, then anything that you need to actually be saturated, one, won't show up very saturated. And two, you would be really surprised how many illustrations are actually less saturated than you think they are. Like, one thing I've learned about anime art is how, or like, um, like screenshots and things, like directly from shows. You'd be really surprised how desaturated a lot of it is, honestly. Like, it looks very saturated, and then if you break it down and study it, it's actually very desaturated. Alright. We can move on to... Rayless. You know what? Let's, let's, let's switch things around. Let's go with a dark blue to get our thing across, since we've been using light orange.
I really feel saturated at the amount of desaturation. What? <laughs> Do I have a problem with orange? No, Nixie! I've been painting three other characters orange. Except Thorn. I've been painting three other characters orange. Uh, Thorn's toes. Okay, yes, you're right. You are right. I would, I would have noticed that later. But thank you for pointing that out. Greatly appreciate it. Is there anything else that I'm... Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything else I'm forgetting? Yes. <laughs> yes, there is. There we go. That's a little bit better. Sorry, I forgot to put on the nail polish. Do I use cheap layering tricks to boost the saturation in my thumbnails? Yeah, there you go. I definitely do that too in my own work. Um, there's pieces where after the whole thing is done, just hitting it with a little bit of an extra contrast filter really helps punch it where you, you wouldn't have the, uh, as much of the know-how to do that innately because you're pushing it a little more than you would probably comfortably add yourself. But every, every artist does that. If you look at any professional doing a speed paint, you'll see that at the end, pretty much every artist is doing uh, color, light, and contrast adjustments at the very ending. Yes, exactly. Thank you for the emphasis, Murdoch. <laughs> All right. Oh, a little piece right there. And now Rayless is more of like a, a slightly desaturated brown, which is another form of orange. So there you go. There's more orange, Nixie. Grendel, I swear. gonna refine this much nicer later but for now just want to get the general idea of the pattern being there Nixie, what is it? What does it even? What does it look like on your guys' side when you tag each other across platform? Because on my side, all I see is that you guys are saying at restreambot. <laughs> what does that? What does that look like uh, on your end? I'm not used to all these stripes. The last time I drew Rayless was only a, a face piece. Uh, headshot. It's 
It shows what we're replying to? Okay, all right. So hopefully it, it, it looks better on your end. Hopefully? Are you guys able to like, reply to each other? It looks like Restream bot to me. Uh, I wish there was a better way to go about that. I really do. I don't know what his paws look like at the end there, but I'm guessing they fade. You have to look at other cat references to figure this out. Currently trying to redo the dread the red draconic skull for my model to a more sandy color, like a skull to make it look kind of like a dragon version of Skeletor, but not sure if it would look good. Talon, that that little uh, that little part that you said at the end there, not sure if it would look good. This is why I was explaining to do things roughly, play around with the color, and then see what variant you like, right? Like, okay, for example, let's just pretend for a, for a quick second that, um, how do I say this? Let's say we were just trying to figure out, like, how Thorn would look in an alternate universe setting, right? Let's, let's say that I was instructed to uh, design a, a shiny version of Thorn, I don't know, but... I have a very rough sketch here, and you saw how rough it was when I was coloring this. And then if I wanted to give like, I don't, I don't know. If I was changing his color palette, I would be doing it very roughly, probably on another layer actually. Let's, let's practice that. And I would just, I don't know if this would be your shiny variant, I am just playing along for an example here, and I apologize Thorn. I just need a guinea pig to get my point across. But let's say I was just very quickly doing this. I'm doing this even rougher than I did before because I'm just trying to illustrate a point. And if I have this on a separate layer and I didn't bother doing any line art, I just have a general idea here, then what I could do is I could do everything on a separate layer I could go back and forth. I could also screenshot both and put them on another canvas and have them side by side. And I could just sort of think about what variant I wanted that way. If I was worried about like a, a, a skull shape, then you know, I would, I'd screenshot that, throw that on another canvas, have like probably 20 variants at the end. And that is how I would work on figuring out design. Basically what I was doing while experimenting with different colored scales uh, on the first sketch. Yeah, exactly. So that's why I'm saying if you're not sure um, how you want your uh, head to look and everything, then I would just make variations and put those all on separate canvas. Uh, put, put all your variations on one canvas and see them all side by side at the same time and then see which one stands out the best. That I don't know, Murdoch. <laughs> but you can see how I'm just very quickly trying to get my ideas down. And then I can continue refining it. You know, that's not my final objective. But it helps me figure out where I want things to be. And I hope that makes sense. That will save you a lot of frustration in the long run, I think. Because if you're doing things where you're spending all this time finishing it with a really, really nice finish, and then you want to change something, it's uh, it's a lot trickier if you're if you're trying to experiment on finished things. Unless you turn your reference into a coloring page, I suppose you could do that, but. 
That's just my suggestion. Oh, that's a right white. Since Thorn worshipped the algorithm and the algorithm was Malgorith, and now Thorntail and Malgorith are combined, I worship myself. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. Uh, as- as a god would think, I suppose. That's one way of looking at things. Means a little bit of an increase in lightness. For someone who's asking how I pick color, I basically just try to get the closest thing I can find and then alter it around as I go to what looks better. There's not really any method to the madness, unfortunately. Is Rayless always blushing? I suppose so. I don't see any variant that would tell me otherwise. <laughs> yes. rough idea here of the hair and don't forget that like myself we both have tipped ears I think that's fairly accurate I still don't know what color the book should be but I don't think I'm gonna color the book until I figure out the the chairs and everything around it because that's all going to inform each other. Thorn really stands out in this piece, jeez. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do something to, to tie it all together, uh, color-wise, a bit nicer. Imagine having ears. <laughs> I don't- I don't know how you reptilian types work, frankly. Maybe put some leaves on the foreground? Huh? What? The bottom right corner. Why are we putting leaves on the ground? Like, plants? The kind that grow on the beach, I'll do- Oh! Oh! You're thinking of like the- the uh... 
I, I think I know what you're- you're thinking of like, dune grass or something? I don't think I have much room for that, unfortunately. <laughs> but, um, no, we'll, ha we'll have a little pop of, uh, of green in the drink here, and... I don't know where else, but this is why we color rough, right? Because if we think that things don't have enough contrast yet, then we play around with it until we can push it. So you want to tie my greenness into the drawing more? I think Nixie's suggesting ways to do that. Okay, yeah. Yeah, dune grass. Is that usually on a uh, on a higher altitude though? Keep what I worked with and come up with different rough designs for the model. I'll keep what I worked on and just come up with different rough designs. Oh, okay. All right. That sa I think that should work. Yeah, Talon. Again, I'm just I'm trying to figure out um ways to help you out with design and figure out efficient ways because you were saying you weren't sure how you wanted to go about something and that's sort of my process when I'm not sure if I'm going back and forth with things. All right, we're going to All right, you know, every every character that's close to the water gets to be in orange, every character on the sand gets to be in blue. That makes the most sense in my head anyway. Dune grass is along ocean beaches? I could have sworn they were at a higher altitude, like, before it gets close to the water, but maybe I'm wrong. I like the beach ball, it's so cute. <laughs> edit this later. Oh, I'm gonna have to be careful that this doesn't mix with the blue. Use a stronger brush here. <laughs> also change the hue a little bit, probably. Can't even see the difference. again, Sihiro. Welcome back. We've got, uh, almost everyone blocked out here. It's not, like, right up against the water, usually a couple hundred feet on the sand. Yeah, that's what I was- that's what I was thinking. That's why I'm thinking it probably would be too far away here. That would be my guess. It's a good idea, though. Thorn, oh my god. 
I mean, he's he's clearly seen the sun today. <laughs> if you go to the beach, does that count as touching grass? Or no? Does that not count as touching grass? I do think I have the hue a little incorrect though. Let me try to change that. Which way is that going? Okay. He's also gonna be in shade anyway, so everything's going to look darker. Like, uh, Rayless and Senpai are both gonna be covered in shades, so the, uh, visually they will both, um, have, like, a, a dark shadow over them. Where did the design go? There it is. I think it counts? <laughs> If you make that drink red, it's confirmed he's a vampire. No, actually, uh, commissioner's request, it will be Canada Dry. I'm not even sure if Senpai drinks that, but there we go anyway. Nixie and Murdoch are probably both looking at me with evil eyes right now. <laughs> uh, let me change that hair real quick so that we're not mixing him up with Sea Hero. Is the most Canadian. I feel like I'm not allowed to give my opinion on that. I'm gonna wait for either of them to speak up on it. I'm not saying anything. I don't want to land in hot water. Bad enough if I would land in cold water here. I'm still not sure if I want these to be... If I want this to be the pattern or not. I might leave that darker. Is 
sort of looks like it echoes the pattern on Raelis' cloak. There, there's supposed to be uh, a slight idea of palm trees. I don't know if that comes across at all. Say sorry only when I shouldn't- but only what wait, wait, Nixie, I just caught that one. Hang on, let- wait, let's go over that first sentence one more time. I say sorry, but only when I shouldn't. Nixie. I draw my pancakes and maple syrup, prefer loonies and toonies over any other currency. I drink Canada Dry unironically, I say butter unironically, and the family car is a Prius. I don't know anything about that last one. Alright, sounds good, Talon. I, d I don't know. <laughs> Curious now. Ah, uh, I... Huh. I'm wondering if Senpai's design is a little too plain. I'm not sure. I think I showed you guys what we had before, right? Hmm. I had one design where I was going to try to, like, uh, allude to his hoodie a little bit and have, like, half blue, half red. <laughs> this is an odd lot together. <laughs> you guys need some color in your lives. I mean, Thorn's very colorful here, but... I'm not good at owning up to my actual mistakes, just the irrelevant ones. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Did they actually say that? Jeez, you could get away with so much beforehand. I don't I don't think you'd be able to have a character say anything like that anymore. Ah, uh, where'd my reference go? This needs to be a little bit lighter, more saturated. Nixie will be able to tell me if I got the the Canada dry color right, because I have no idea. Let's make a little more of an orange, uh, just so it stands out from the sand. This color almost looks exactly like the sand. <laughs> Every time I need white, I'm just grabbing Vessa's hair. <laughs> I've lost- I've, I've completely lost track of most of this conversation. <laughs> oh, shoot. This, you know what? This needs to be on a separate layer. This is like- I don't know, I guess not. If you're- if you're holding it, then the layer is probably like more of what you are. Huh. What conversation? This entire thing. I can't keep up with most of it. <laughs> We're throwing stuff out there, pretending it makes sense. You sure are. Just visited the website and was looking at the sculptures. Oh, thank you so much, Taki. I really appreciate that. 
Oh, I haven't done sculptures in such a long time. All right, we've almost got... We've almost got things going here. I want to start painting food, because if you guys don't know, I really, really like painting food. I mean, you probably uh, get that from the fact that I like to do, to make VTuber assets, but like, the reason I like doing that is because I really like painting food. Let's see what looks best with the colors here. And we've got our plate, which I'm guessing is probably just gonna be a white plate here. I'm grabbing Thorn's tail for the green. <laughs> I'm just grabbing uh, colors from everybody else around here. <laughs> I'm just borrowing colors from everybody. Add a Pocky stick in the ice cream dessert? There's actually two! There's actually two Pocky sticks in there already! Canadian geese you mean cobra chicken I don't think I don't think geese are friendly in like any sense of anything frankly I I don't think I've ever met a kind goose I, I just don't think that they're nice creatures Cobra chicken. <laughs> now they, uh, I, I was planning for them to be, um, to be Pocky. Because I really love seeing the, uh, Pocky desserts. That, uh, where it's just sort of, like, added there at the end. <laughs> Can you keep some rice beer? Dr. Heavy versus Canadian Geese Army. <laughs> that would be like, uh, that would be like you versus the 20 million horses. <laughs> but instead, geese. I was about to ask, Taki, I, I don't think you're a goose. They are a universal threat. They are universally mean to everybody. I swear. I don't know what the Canada Dry Bottle looks like right now. Uh, I think it's... Eh. I don't want to throw logos on things, but I'll just get the idea that there's like, there's red text here, right? Look, as long as it doesn't look like alcohol, that's my main thing. Something like that. <laughs> Jerry, you like geese? Really? I mean, okay, they're- they're pretty, but they will- they'll destroy you. Can I dry as a plastic bottle like soda? Um, I've- I've seen versions of it in a glass bottle, and for this, I just think we should be fancy. So it gets a glass bottle. They're, they're cute, but they're ferocious. It's like, uh, you know, tigers. Tigers are also very cute. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go against a tiger, though. I've been chased by more otters than Canadian geese. Otters are very mean, in case anyone didn't know. I, I feel like I could understand otters being kind of vicious. I don't know. 
Create my own silly brand? What? What do you mean create my own silly brand? Oh jeez, Jerry. Can I ask for a critique or opinion? Uh, did you want like a uh, stream critique? Or did you want like a uh, private discord critique? If you want to message me after stream, I could I could do that, but you know, let me know. What <laughs> What is going on on chat's going way too quick. Oh jeez, yeah. I I know what you're talking about, Thorn. Yikes. Uh... Is this tiger? No, I'm not going against the tiger. A brand for the drink? No, the, the drink is uh, Canada Dry for Senpai. I'm not sure what Rayless's is. Maybe I'll go with, like, a... Maybe I'll go with something like a, a lime? Something that has, like, a... That could- that could make an interesting contrast. On stream is fine? Alright. Churros, if you want to send the piece in stream critique, have you- have you done? Uh, if you want to throw the piece in stream critique and just make like a little write-up real quick about uh, what you want me to critique about it, I will try doing my best. <laughs> Make my own drink brand? No, this is uh this is on commission, so whatever the commissioner wants it to be like is what the is what's gonna be on the piece. This is drink should be water from a fishbowl. <laughs> Jeez the water. <laughs> Alright, let me uh let me just get some uh let me just finish up the ice cream here and then i will uh do some quick stream critique my headcanon is that senpai and Rayless both ordered uh a drink and a dessert I don't know what all the decorations are going to be. This is just a rough idea. Might be like different colored things here. Like, I don't know, maybe there's a, a lime or something. And then like, uh... I don't know. That's gonna look a lot better later, I promise. <laughs> also, hello, Grendel. All right, Murdoch. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Finish drawing yourself as Dio. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, actually, it would probably make sense if you had like a one of these being mint. If you had like the dessert drink, that kind of ties back in a little nice.
All right, Thorn, thank you so much for stopping in and saying hello. I really appreciate it. And uh, all the best with whatever you're working on. I think the lore book needs a different color. It, oh, it is going to get a different color. Um, it's not colored right now because I am just trying to figure out, uh, after doing the beach chairs and things, what's going to stand out the most. So don't worry, I, I didn't make it the same color as this fur. It's just, uh, the color's not chosen yet, that's all. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> have a nice day, Cherry. Where are the seeds in the watermelon? They're they're there in like a really rough, sketchy state. They just uh, they need to be refined more. Today's stream was really just about getting all of the color down and making sure that things looked decent. And then next stream, I'm gonna have to play around a bit more with like the actual shading and making it, um, you know, uh, actually feel like a painting. <laughs> um. All right. What else do I want to try tackling very quick? Um, I had it in my head, now I don't know. I don't know. I, I think I... I'm still here, y'all stuck with me. <laughs> this still has a lot of different things that need to be colored for sure. And I feel like I was on a trajectory to do- Oh, that's what I- Um, I wanted to ask if you guys- If you guys think that maybe I should change the- Ooh, maybe I could do a mix. Maybe- Hang on, this could be fun. Where was the outfit designs? So, I had an outfit design before where- Um- Where Senpai's shirt was like- uh, two swords against each other, and then I changed it to palm trees, but what if I tried doing the palm trees, but in the two different colors? I'm just experimenting. Maybe this looks bad, I don't know. We're just playing around. Maybe that works, maybe it doesn't. Alright, it maybe maybe it looked better in my head. I just feel like I I need a little bit more color there. I just don't know how. What about the trees? What? I'm I'm confused. The where's the umbrella pole connecting? It's like it's kind of out of view. It would be like Uh, <laughs> showing under the table. What about the trees? What about the- I'm- I'm confused, guys. It's not fully colored yet, I'm still blocking. Uh... Maybe I'll do a very um, subtle color. That could work, maybe? I, I don't know. <laughs> if I knew more about the ideal aesthetic, that would help. But the only thing I know is uh, a hoodie and a, and a suit. <laughs> Hello, hello, catty doodles. Trust the process. I am, I am trying. Thought you mentioned something about coloring the trees. There's a lot that I need to get done still. The trees definitely being one of them. All right, we have the food. 
And then... I'm just gonna block out the chairs. Not to alarm anyone, I think there's a shark in the water. There might be. There that might uh that might be a thing. <laughs> Hello Geekish, how are you doing today? Hopefully everything is going well. Welcome Geekish Raiders. My name is Starlight, I'm a celestial art fox that does mainly drawings on stream, and today we are working on a beach scene of multiple VTubers some of you may recognize. Is the water even safe to swim in though? I don't know. Thanks for welcoming me back. Yeah, absolutely. I'm probably not gonna go uh, too much longer. My my streams are usually on the shorter side, but I just want to get the chairs in, and then I want to uh, give a little bit of a stream critique for Talkie. And if you uh, if you guys didn't know, I have a art focus Discord channel. Let me just link it over here. And essentially, um. You can submit your artwork for stream critiques sometime if you want, and I do a little bit of overpainting and explanation. And then we also have a regular critique channel if you don't want me to look at it on stream. If you want something a little bit more, a little bit more private. <laughs> I'm just getting the chairs here. That'll at least give us another larger block of color. I'm sorry, did, did I... Churros, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Churros, I apologize. Churros was the one who asked. My bad. My bad. You're good, Taki. I apologize. Okay. So we're blocked in here. I'm up for it once I return to streaming, though. Okay. Um. Where do I have the beach chair designs here? So Raelis's, I think, is gonna be like your typical blue and white. Don't know what I'm doing for Senpai, honestly. It's gonna be more of a silver. And again, there, there is a back to the chair, you just can't see it because of the angle. Made chocolate cows fix the shape art D regarding the table and legs because the top of the dog was sideways or diagonal fixing. Fix the legs. Wonder if you had time to do a string critique with help with diagonal facing feet paws. Yeah, let's finish up the, the stream with some stream critique. Let me just see what else I need to do here. Make this a little bit lighter. Make this a little bit more wood looking. It needs to be more like a, a lighter wood, I think. I 
the wood color in my head that doesn't mix with the sand, but I don't have it at the moment, so let me just get this roughed in. <laughs> Absolutely geekish. Um, I don't know what we're doing for Senpai's chair yet. Maybe we could tie that into Thorn's collar? Does that look weird? Maybe it's just gonna be white. Maybe it's just gonna be like uh, folded wood and white. We can get like. Might have to play with that one later. Not really sure yet. Might look different when there's shading on it. And again, like, uh, once I figure out the umbrella color and the towels and everything, like, a lot of colors affect other ones, so if I experiment with colors more, then I will find what looks best. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. Red and white or green and yellow? What if we did, like, this lighter kind of green? How about that? Maybe this could work? Just a suggestion based on Florida beach chairs. <laughs> Maybe yellow and white? As long as it doesn't get too close to the sand. That's that's my only thing, is I, I think I might need the green to also uh, tie in with... Well, there's also going to be green here on the um, palm trees. I made this a little more yellow. Like a nice... Hard to tell what it's gonna look like before there's shading on it. Maybe I'll decide then when I tackle the shading. I think I'm going to leave it like this and then uh, play around more with the color later and then see what works based on how the how th everything looks when it's darker. I can start making Senpai more tanned, or is it his first day of Beach of Summer? Uh, Thorn said to keep it pale. <laughs> Senpai's chair looks like it has RGB. <laughs> Ultimate gamer chair, take it to the beach. Would I be able to request stream, uh, stream critique in the future? My first stream was scuffed because of the mic. I'd love to know how to make it more interesting. Um... I think I might be, <laughs> I think I might need to clarify Taki. Um, when I say stream critique, it's uh, it's art related, but it's like, it's called stream critique because it's on 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 the on the live stream. Um, and it's things like uh, anatomy and perspective and colors and things. I I probably wouldn't be great at actual critiquing of streams. <laughs> I'm sorry for the confusion. All right, let's make sure this is all saved. We're starting to get there. We're starting to build up the feeling of this piece. It's got a long ways to go, but I think we have got a fair, uh, fair amount of progress so far. All right, let me see what's up on the Stream Critique channel in the Discord. Conflicted on how to make the highlights. Churros, do you mean, um, do you mean the hair highlights? I'm looking
looking at this, if you can explain a little bit what you're talking about, um, with the, with the two versions, I'm guessing one is just like, because I think this is live 2D, right? So I'm guessing you want to sort of match the style to the one in the back. Right and left are different, wondering which is better. The right and left are different. Also, um, sorry, I probably should have asked. It, it's okay to, to, to bring that up, right? It's okay to pull it up? I'm just, just checking. I don't know how, uh, if you have any plans or anything. Okay. <laughs> I just get paranoid with that kind of thing. Um, if the right or the left is better. So are you trying to go for, like, sun highlights or streaks in the hair? If you're trying to go for, like, a, a chibi look, I personally think that something where the lines are thicker is going to stand out more. This could possibly get a bit lost. Right and left are different, wondering which is better. I, I would go with something thicker so that it can be seen from further away, especially if you're doing something in a chibi style. You're going to want to be able to see it from further away. You're going to want to simplify it a bit. So more strokes on a chibi design is probably going to be a little bit more confusing. Streaks more likely? Yeah, I, I think that you're doing a good job here um, with the... Her right, our left. Uh, I'm just going to say the left side then. I think that the left side here, where the streaks are thicker, work better. In my personal opinion. Inspiration in the, is the latest image? I was aiming for the plush look. Okay, all right, I see what you're saying. That's why I'm saying like, um, so the, the venti piece that you have, right? So if I understand correctly, um, this is super cute by the way. When you're doing this for the plush look, you're trying to kind of give the feeling of like, uh, stitched highlights, I'm guessing. So venti doesn't have, um, as far as I know, I don't think Venti has actual highlights in his hair. Um, but I see what you're doing here with the... With the stitching effect. But if you have this character, and they actually have different colored highlights, that's gonna be a little bit different. What I would maybe do? Hmm. Let me try this real quick. If you were to take, if you were to make this show up, right, with your with your thicker highlights, because that's the actual character design, you want to make that visible. I'm just kind of going over it a little bit to, to make it stand out a little thicker. I know this might not ideally be the way you want it. I'm just trying to get the visual down a little. But then you also want the thickness in the not the thickness you also want the uh the threads to show here right i think you did a, a decent job here with the airbrush effect what i would probably do is find uh another area that you could push the airbrush effect so like maybe if we took a little bit of a lighter color and added some highlight here i'm just using airbrush there and then for the actual streaks because what you have here is a lighter blue over a darker blue instead of going and making the streaked hair mimicked with the uh yarn threading style what i'd probably do is take your base brown and make that a little bit lighter 
so that it can show up and then maybe do the hair strokes in this color. So it would still, I'm trying to see how you did this. So it would still stand out that you have texture and everything, but you're not messing with the, the hair strokes of the character, if that makes sense. And then for the highlight, I did take the street color because it's going to be lighter, but also I see a lot of highlights kind of done in like a, a vibrant gold style, so I thought it would work. You could also split this if you wanted. You could try uh, cutting down the highlight a little bit in that center so that it's separated. I'm not entirely sure if this is the kind of thing you're asking. I do apologize in advance if I'm not entirely understanding the goal. But I think, like, adding your strokes with the lighter brown would help you get the effect that you want and then still have the gold streaks in the hair. And what you could maybe do is you could maybe do, like, a little bit of if we're thinking this is like a highlighted thread you could maybe do a little bit of gold tinting if you wanted to give that effect I'm not entirely sure how you want to tackle it but maybe a little bit of this like have a have the have the thread have a little bit of hints of gold in it Suddenly called him and panic. Uh, no worries, Churros. Hopefully it's all right. Hello, hello, Puppy Kiss. How are you doing today? I hope everything is going well. Like, uh, sometimes what I, what I sometimes see in like, um, in threads. I'm just doing this off to the side here. Let's say if we had like a silver thread, I might see it in like a very. Uh, like a little bit of a darker silver. I'm not putting this over your character. I'm just running out of canvas room. You repeat? Uh, yeah, no worries. So, basically, what I'm saying is, like, if you have a thread, like, if you, if you were to go to the store and make a plush with these kind of, uh, threads, then what you maybe could do that I sometimes see on like a, like a silver or gold, like if you guys know, um, if you guys know the, the dress up game Love Nikki, I see them do this a lot, is they have like a darker color thread, like let's say a, a dark silver or something, and then they'll take like almost pure white here, and then just against the edges to give sort of the highlight of it being like a silvery metallic, but kind of just focus on it in different areas, and it kind of gives a little bit of a, a sparkle to it. So I was saying over here, you could try doing that too. You could try making like, most of your threads could be a little bit lighter than your darker hair. And then on a few of them, you could just have like a little bit of a highlight to kind of give a little bit of a sparkle here and there. I'm not entirely sure because you are trying to go with like a, a chibi effect so I don't know how detailed you want to make it um but then if you if you want something a little simpler then I would probably just focus on the lighter strands here that you have on the darker hair and then uh, separate your different colored hair strokes, and then maybe an airbrush with the, uh, with, for the highlight, kind of like how you did with Venti. And if we throw these all into a different layer, you can, you can kind of see what I'm trying to do, kind of give the, give the hair a little bit of a metallic feeling. I'm not sure if that's the effect you're trying to go for, but let me know if you kind of want me to take things a, a different way.
May I request an art, uh, art critique in the future? I don't have any recent art at the moment, but I will in the future. Yeah, absolutely, Talkie. They sort of do that with Warhammer minis when you go in to highlight them. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm uh, what I'm thinking a little. Anything where it's like a, a, a metallic or a crystalline or... There's a lot of different effects where if you want to make things look shiny or bright, you make everything else around it dark and you make the highlight um, very refined, but fairly small. It's kind of like seeing anime sparkles on everything. <laughs> That's good so far. The outfit is pretty detailed, so I was conflicted whether detailed hair is better or not. Oh, all right. I haven't seen the outfit. I just see the, um, what you have here with the really cool bow tie. Uh, not bow tie. Uh, tie? <laughs> if you're already doing very detailed effects in one part of it, then I think repeating that in other parts could probably work. I mean, that's similar to how you did with Denti, right? I know you have a lot more detail on the outfit lower, uh, lower down. If you've already got a part that's detailed, adding a little bit more detail isn't going to throw things off too much. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, let me pull this up real quick. My goodness, and this is a chibi? <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, if- oh. If you've already been doing this, then I don't think adding more detail to the hair is going to throw it off that much, honestly. You have really detailed chibis. <laughs> Uh, yeah, actually, I think that, I mean, if you were adding detail to the hair, it might help tie into the detail of the outfit, too. That's another thought I might have. I love detail, I can tell. <laughs> uh. Renders, on the other hand, ooh, yeah. Right? It looks amazing. It's insane. Yeah, if you were to, um, if you were to add, like, more detailed streaks here, that kind of already reflected the insane outfit that you have as well, I think that would be fine, personally. Unite against detail, Grendel's rise up. <laughs> Grendel, you're basically a blush. You're, you're basically just, like, a, a little, little plushy. Yeah, this is super cool. If you were to add detail to the hair, I think it would honestly probably help tie everything in. Because if you had something that was very detailed in the outfit and then the hair was very simple, uh, it might clash a little. But if you reflect that uh, a little bit in the hair as well, I don't think there's anything wrong with that, frankly. I'm the most refined plush. <laughs> The highest minky fabrics that we can afford. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully that helps, Churros. Uh, hopefully that may give you some ideas. Let me just grab this here. So all I'm basically doing is uh, just replying here with the update. For you to refer back to and maybe give you some ideas. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, geekish. Has a puppy for us.
I feel like the stomach area and the middle part between the feet is too low. Should I make it higher? Uh, I will tackle that in just a sec. Yeah, absolutely, Jeros. <laughs> yeah, it's super cute, right? Okay. So, you are asking about the feet geekish. How do you do, di do diagonal facing, feet paws, rest of the body's facing sideways? I can't get the feet to. Okay. So, this is a little bit about understanding things in 3D space. So, if we are doing things like uh, a dog paw, and we have it in front of us, bear with me here. I'm gonna break this down into simple shapes right now. Okay? Our dog paw is basically going to be... I'm gonna call this our front, and I'm gonna call this our side. Basically think of it like a rectangle, and uh, two rectangles on top of each other, more or less. I'm, I have to really simplify this down. Um, but this is kind of the same you would think for like a, a human foot as well. But I want you to think about this in simple shapes here. So we've got our dog paw, which is basically just two rectangles on top of each other. And then we've got um, the separation of the paws, right? So we kind of have a little bit of a robotic look here, but that's okay. And when you look at this dog leg from the side, right, you're only seeing half of it. And these toes are going to be smaller than these toes. Because unlike a, a person who has a foot that kind of goes at this sort of angle, dog's feet are more diamond shaped. And their toes break up like this. So these two front toes and these side toes are going to be different in shape. This is like a, let's say, a top view. Does that mean I should change the hand paws to make it rectangle too, to make the feet paw style? No, I don't think you have to. I'm just using it uh, in, in simple shape terms. Good now, thought I broke the Intuos tablet. Bang my mouth so hard from the anger. What? That the magnets came out and touched the tablet. I thought it got ruined. Well, I'm glad it didn't. Yikes. So what I'm saying here with the with the top of the paw and the the fact that these are I mean it it's probably a little bit less varied than this, but um I'm just exaggerating it to make a point. So you can imagine that this paw is here. And these top paws are about, let, let's just say for simplicity, halfway, right? So this is going to go out a little bit. This is going to go out further. So here is where you're going to see this toe. I'm trying to make this as clear as I can. And then we're going to think of this break in the toe. From top to side, this is why you need to think in 3D. Like... This is incorrect anatomy at the moment, but if we're thinking about it broken up this way, right? You can kind of see what I'm seeing here. Then this is going to be our front toe and this is going to be our side toe. You're really only going to be seeing these two toes. You're just seeing these. What's the name of the song? Uh, it's just- it just says Flap 2. That's all it says. So we've got our side toe, the bigger toe here, and then how this uh, applies to your dog here. He's actually not fully sideways, but for simplicity, I can just take it that way. You would have something that shows your side toe. And then 
this front toe. If you have it a little bit at more of an angle, you might see the other toe, which is where you're getting this part. But if you want something that is fully, uh, f f fully turned, then you're simplicity wise, probably just gonna see this part. And I'm rounding it because animals limbs are rounded. They're not actual robotic rectangles. You might see a little bit if this is like maybe a three quarter view. And if this is like a, um, a perfect side view. Reminds me of Nintendo soundtracks in Mario Kart. Yeah. As you're explaining this, I told my dog to come so I could have virtual reference and real life reference. There you go. Yeah. Check your dog's paw. Let me know if that's accurate. So you're really gonna see it from just these two angles. So I'm going to paint over one, but not the other. And I want you to be able to sort of see the difference I have. So we've got the toes coming off. We've got our side foot here. That's how I think you could do a, uh, a sideways view. Orchestral but fun. Yeah, there you go. I have the weirdest feet for real. Yeah, Grendel, I can't, I can't, uh, can't deny that one. And again, you might see a little bit more of the toes, depending. Maybe you want a three quarter instead of a perfectly fitting side view. For simplicity, you'll probably just go with side. And if this was a real dog, then I would uh, probably lift the heel a bit, but because you already have something that is anthro with more of a human design, I would just leave the feet flat. I hold my dog's feet to examine it and he walks away. <laughs> But hopefully that helps. Mm. Uh, the other thing oh, is that if you add two lines here, you can add dimension to the ears. Now it looks like something is flopped in front of the ear. It, it looks like the, the ear is floppy, I mean. If you add that line there, then you're gonna get a floppy ear dog look. Grab this. And last real quick for your elephant, and then we will... Oh, wrong one. There we go. I feel like stomach in the middle part of the feet is too low. Should I make it higher? Um, I think what you should do is round it out a bit so that you are capturing the fact that this elephant actually has a very round body. He probably doesn't have a very square body. Or she, I'm not sure. Oh, let me not paint right over this. If you're thinking underneath the elephant, they probably have a very round stomach. Which would make this part here a little rounder. I think you're okay on the, um, the length because we are also going to move this further down because chances are the feet uh the front feet and the bottom feet are going to in most cases probably line up around on the same plane unless he's holding his hands up a little bit more i keep saying he i don't know 
I'm just defaulting a little. So I would probably move the toes down, which works anyway because uh, elephant feet are a little bit more uh, oval shaped. And then like I said with the dog ears, in order to create more dimension, I would put a line here. So you'd have, have one here as well. And this will show the dimension of the, uh, of the elephant. I keep wanting to say paw or hoof and I know that's not right. The elephant feet in front of the body. I'd also just make this a little bit larger, a little bit rounder. sort of break that up so you can see where the difference is and I would just watch here a little bit make sure things are rounded uh, on both sides remember you can always flip your canvas to make sure hello Santosh how are you doing today hopefully all is well I might add a little bit more thickness here on the ear I don't have an elephant in front of me, so I'm not entirely sure. Uh, and then I would probably thicken the trunk just a tad as well. Because everything else here is really thick. Uh, elephant's trunks are also very thick. I would kind of mimic that as well. Make it a tiny bit longer. Thick ears like Dumbo? Yeah. There you go. They might actually be- would they be longer? Hang on a sec. No, not the plant, jeez. Uh, actually, let me look at Dumbo real quick. Okay, Dumbo's a little too exaggerated, never mind. Let me look at a real elephant. <laughs> so, a real elephant's- ears actually go a bit uh further and a bit uh a bit further out and a bit lower they they uh they go lower than the chin and you could still fix with the pink that you had here And again, I'm not I'm not touching this side because I want you to also be practicing on your own. But I would make this uh, a little bit longer on the feet. I would make this uh, a little bit, I guess, longer is the same word as well. Here we're going a bit wider, and uh, line. For perspective. And then also the uh, oval toes. Who's the artist? Uh, Geekish. Addressing the elephant in the room, but Starlight does not have any elephant in her room that she would observe. You and your puns, Grendel, I swear. Thank you so much, Santosh. I really appreciate that. Make the elephant thicker, bigger, rounder. Yeah, there you go, right? Thicker, bigger, rounder. That's a good way to say it. Yeah, just basically, basically like, um... Exaggerate everything. Elephants are already really exaggerated animals to begin with. Check out cell shading. Oh, yeah. Yeah, cell shading would be very good for you, Geekish, as well. So Taki is basically saying, um, like, you can make flat shading on different parts of the piece to add a little bit more depth and dimension. I'm actually not too good at cell shading myself. Um, 
but if you just focus on like where the shadows would be you can make something with a, a little bit more depth that looks like a snake ton <laughs> you get what i'm saying I'm sort of figure out where the where the light would hit something I'm not- I'm not super good at cell shading myself. I- I do a lot of, uh, softer shading, and I- I need to practice cell shading, frankly. But just doing something like that can add a little bit, uh, a little bit more visual interest. Right? Something to consider. We should probably wouldn't make this... I don't know actually how I would do the uh, do the trunk, but I suppose that would make sense. But yeah, just just some ideas to play with, and of course you don't have to do that, but that is what Taki is referring to when when they say cell shading. Taken from the name of animation cells in traditional technique where they would actually be painting the shading on. You can get to that point, though. Darker gray area is shading like light and shadow. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Talon, I thought you said that it was, uh, that it was alright. I'm sorry about that. I hope that you can get it working again. But I think that that is where we are going to call it today. Uh, we got a, a nice amount of stream critique done. I think we got a nice amount of the beach scene done. We, um, I might do a little bit of flatting and color experimenting off stream so that we know what the uh, finished colors are going to look like and then I might slide to paint uh, focus a little bit on shading and such so we'll see how far we get next stream but thank you everyone who stopped in and said hello I really love talking to you guys you guys are absolutely hilarious <laughs> crazy chaotic but hilarious nonetheless and, um, yeah, our next stream is going to be Saturday at 2 o'clock Eastern Standard. And, again, if you haven't, you can feel free to join the Art Focus Discord, especially if you want a critique in the future. And with that, I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day, evening, and night. And I'm wishing you all the best, Stargazers. Thanks for tuning in.